Hello everybody, welcome back to Pathfood TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are back once again in Red Dead Redemption 2. Hey, God damn drunk horse. Couldn't pay no attention. You good? Okay. Now stuff's all over. Damn it. You there. Yeah. Would you watch my cargo here while I go find someone to deal with this? I guess. Thank you, sir. I don't care. Am I really supposed to sit here and watch all this? Oh, guy killed his horse. See, he's just walking off into the night. I didn't want to step on her. Let's say, open the lockbox. There wasn't much in there. Not much there either. Is he just, what's he doing over there? All right, well, that's as much uh, of watching this thing as we're going to do. Let's go. <laughs> yep. It's going to take a nap by a tree. I got other things I got to do. But hey, we got another pocket watch to be able to donate to camp, so that's good. But yeah, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We're going to continue with Arthur's story here, and I actually believe it is time for us to do actual story work here. I'm going to see if I can make a couple donations to the camp first, since we've got a lot of money on us. Like a lot. Everything looks good. Oh yeah, I wanted to see if I could drop off that elk pelt. See if I can grab that. Remove. Before we go to Dutch to continue the story here. Nearly got myself lynched a couple of days ago. Medical supplies. Food. Evening, Mr. Morgan. Ah, uh, food's over here. Dang it. Always forget where it is. For some reason, I must be getting sloppy. I just... If only it was in better condition. Right Let's see what we can get for it. Awake for their dead Uncle McCarby. No. Oh, yes. Don't you overcook this oh, now. What'd you do? I froze. Then, uh... There you go. Then I, I saw Many his thanks. name. Morgan. All right. No, I see that Jack was over here. Evening. You did good, Valentine. Told you it'd be a good score. Oh yeah, we robbed the bank. Yep, you were. That's right. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay then. I had seen Jack over here, but apparently not. There's John. Good to see you. Hey, you see, Mike could put any money in the box. No, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, that's Thanks. why. Because he had a request. Stop moving, Bill. Bill. Glad I got a thank you. God damn it, Bill. 
All right, let's go donate to camp and let's uh, continue this story, shall we? I don't want to trigger it too early. Check the ledger really quick. Man, Arthur's name's showing up a bunch, huh? You're welcome for me being the backbone of this whole entire family here. <clears throat> Which I think we all know. I don't think we're actually trying to trying to hide that at all. The problem is they don't show what it looks like beforehand, so I'm sitting here like, yep, we did a thing. Proud of us. <laughs> like well, we got money, I don't care. I think I got a lamp that time. I should get some sleep. Okay. I don't care. I'm fine with putting in the money. All right. So those are all upgraded. <clears throat> I mean, I got thousands of dollars. I might as well spend it somewhere. And I don't even know if I'll lose it. I know eventually we go to prison. So I assume that I'm going to lose all of that. Oh, if I lose all my weapons and stuff, I'm going to be very pissed. If that happens, we'll go and find all of the uh, hidden treasures and everything. Let's see. So that's all upgraded. Upgrade my lodging, even though I'm never at it. Oh, so we got a map. Oh. So we can fast travel a lot easier now. Good to know. Yeah, why not? Just keep on bumping that on her up, my friend. Upgrade everybody's tent. Make sure that they're living comfortably. Especially Jack. He doesn't have a choice of being here. I'm just going to make sure that everything is recording, because I didn't double check that. That would have sucked. I don't know, what do we got? Okay. Okay, so we can get stabled horses if we want. doesn't really help me. Buy a chicken coop. Add nutrition to all the camp stews, dead eye boost, and Okay, kinda like that one. <laughs> that one we might actually use. I'm trying to trying to look at what we might use and what we might not use. There, I've spent over a thousand dollars. Don't ask why I've got it. How are we down to zero? Alright, let's contribute. What do we got for items to give? Donate one watch. That's the jewelry bag that we found. It's the wedding band of the dickhead. And, I don't know, I'll give 500 bucks. Yikes. Thank you. I was like, come on, you got to speed up faster than that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, too far. <laughs> I don't want to be that generous, to be honest. Come on, we're so close. 
Five hundred bucks to camp. There you go. All right. Let us go and make some mischief. Let's go talk to Dutch. Arthur, Arthur. What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. All right. Charles. Let's go for a walk. Dutch said so. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. I like it. No words wasted. Well, let's go. Let's go, Luna. Okay. okay, so we're heading to Trioli's spot, figure things out. Okay, well, I guess we're going. <laughs> okay, yeah, there you are. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> Look at that white tail up there. Mm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Hold up a second. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't know why you just took a... Just ride with me. Come on. What were you saying before? Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. When he gets into nooks and crannies, the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. Okay, kind of in these gypsy tents. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Thanks for running me over with your horse. Appreciate that. Put your gun away. Shit. This don't look so... So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Found anything? This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. I'll take the coin purse too, I think. You see anything there? Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. But there's a bag on the bed. I saw something about read note. Where are you? 
What do you think? There's some blood here. That ain't good. Big struggle. Pretty recently, Look, I'd say. I guess tracks. maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. That's where I saw something about note. What are you ah, doing? Note. Let's go. Read. Can't see it. Okay. It's a mining share. All right, well, hey, he ain't here. They went down the path. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. Hey, wait up! Hey, you gotta keep up, my dude. <laughs> like, it's like he keeps stopping or going the wrong way. Now stay with me, please. Not a fun. He was just talking about something. No. Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. Shh. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Jesus, you suck at perking your horse, dude. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of fella? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come here. Yeah, he knocked off my hat, so it's gonna be a bad day for you, my dude. I'm sure you don't. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. All right, got my hat back. All right, so he's down the road. <laughs> nice. Come on, let's go. Good, my girl. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. I'm following you. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. That's fair. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. 
He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Pig. Why don't you save those bullets? You'll need them. Is that what I was trying to do? <laughs> crop that we burned? No. We burned a crop. I think it was the other place. That must be it. Easy. Oh, right here. Oh, that seemed to... Not, not conspicuous. The thing is, after that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, Are you uh, alive? Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. All right, here we go. Let's go. On foot. Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. They've gone into the cornfields. We need to flush them out. Did you see those birds? There's one. Tracks to follow, so we have one in there, one in there. Look at the birds, go that way. What the fuck birds are you talking about? his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. I mean, I would have kept running, but... Keep searching. He's around here somewhere. No, but I also don't have my glasses on. Am I just blind as all hell? 
Keep looking, Arthur. You must be close. That's what they wanted. He's mine. Let me take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Nice throw. Come on. He, he should have taken the money. <laughs> no, I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. All right, well, I'm going to take the money anyway. From that barn. Shit. Come on. I wanted to loot him really quick. Hold on, I want to get the money anyway. Ah. God damn it, hold on! Ah. Ah. 28 bucks, hell yeah, all right. Oh, I don't have any of my weapons here. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Here, let's see if there's anything up Seems here like while we're we here. can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held I'm okay. Superhero landing. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Let's take a run through the corn. Up, check on the weasel. Come on. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Well, if that asshole ran, then he's in some trouble here. Ah, he's up here. He's here. You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? They were bounty hunters. Attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. All right. That worked out well. To at least enhance the story. There always seems to be oh. more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West. Or what's left of it. But even that ain't the way I remember it. Love an Arthur cutscene. Woo! Alright, what do we got now? Certain roads, no guns. Yeah, I got that. Okay, we got one wing. Trelawney. And Mike has got something. Alright, well, let's see. Where, where are we in the recording loop here? Oh, 30 minutes. We got time for more action here in Red Dead Redemption 2. I want to go to the salon. I want to be able to get a haircut. 
General store. Ooh, newspaper. We need a new, new newspaper, though. Let's go get that. Grab Luna. And actually, we could technically fast travel back to camp. I actually want to check that out. Let's see. Map. It's over there to the left. Oh, beasts. Really? Really? We're all going to go? We're all going to do it? We're all, we're all barking? Oh, it's that veteran. Face. Hey, mister. Will you give me some money? Sure. I'll give you a dollar. Sure. My chair is sinking. I'm getting lower and lower, everybody. Well, thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Ain't from around here. Yeah, I was you, I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. They're a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, I reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. All right, well. <clears throat> there you have it. I always do like a random stranger. I saw a newspaper over here. Want to buy a paper? Oh, you are an ugly motherfucker. Okay. okay. Have fun reading. <clears throat> Bye now. News you wouldn't want to miss. Right here. Yeah, that's a journal. I don't want the journal. I'm going to go into the satchel. That actually might be worth reading at some point. Mindshare. Official document granted. Bearer one-tenth of ownership. Can I use that? Okay, I'll have to look at that in a second. Alright. Feud at the bank. Heck yes. Let's see. Something brewing in Europe. Britain killing. Scores of Dutch settlers. Prisoner escape. Small mountain town of Morn, residents of Strawberry and Fear. And that must have been when we got Micah out. Feud at the bank, bloody shootout between families. Moon trafficking suspected. Dead and dying in the street. Lawman found dead. Henry Jenkins, the veteran force. These are cool. Like, I love these. Meshed scrawled in blood, worries identify intensify a plague similar to death years ago. Bank rob, Valentine Institution recovering. King of Corsets. Yeah. My rider's there. Yard of angling. <laughs> That's so good. Alright, well, let's uh let's put you away. Pop up in that satchel again. Now this, I don't... It needs to be filled in. I guess we can use that at some point. Hmm. And we do have a list of debtors, actually. So do we have any side missions waiting for us? That's so actually worth taking a peek at. Anybody? Anybody around? Anybody doing anything? No, but... <coughs> I like for us to be thorough, so that's a chocolate bar. Got all in. I'm sure you got things to do, don't let me keep you. Okay, so I have a list of debtors, but I just have to magically come upon them. So I think for now let's head to camp. See what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Man, that dog barked a lot. Wanna see here if I go up to the fast trail. Uh, maybe. Okay. I don't really want to run. Do I have to take the stagecoach? 
Yeah, no. Okay, you know where to find me. All right, but at least we can yeah. fast travel from camp, so that'll be a plus. All right, we got two missions waiting for us back at camp. Although, so let's get ourselves on over there. I think that'll be good. Yeah. Probably do Micah's first. I think there's two waiting there for us. I'll see you guys when we get in there. What the? Why don't you mind your business and keep walking, huh? All right, easy. All right, well, it's heading back to camp, and it looks like these guys are trying to get this safe open. I want to get you open, though. Oh, did we kill the horse in the... I'll have to see if I can help the horse here in a second. <laughs> really? Really? You made me go through all that trouble? For $40 in a safe? Yeah, well, at the very least, I'm going to let your horse go here. Be free. <laughs> All right, well, Let's go, girl. back towards camp we go. I was just trying to be peaceful and calm and collective. Yeah. Don't bad mouth, Mr. Morgan. As much as we try to be on the good side and try to ignore things, I don't take kindly to any sort of insult. <laughs> so, with that said, we had to kill him and blow up a safe and get 40 bucks. Oh, there's a reward for me at my tent. Where's my tent? I don't remember where my tent is. I don't remember where my tent is. Why is everything black? What? You guys see the black dots everywhere? That's poker. Oh, it's different chores. No way. <laughs> I, I thought that this was an option. No, hell no. We're gonna, we're gonna chop some wood. Hell yeah. I think I saw one of them Foreman brothers again. I want to sharpen that axe. Them boys you used to run with. They ran with me. Right, See, I got four I over there. Now three left. Ooh, okay. Malcolm Foreman. That ox actually needs to be sharpened. That's cool though, that the logs don't just auto regenerate. I know. Chore simulator right here, everybody. Heck yes. Alright, where is my chore? Where is my thing? Wait, 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 what else do you have over here? Where am I supposed to bring the hay bale? Okay. This is cool. I know you guys don't care, but I do. Anything to be a little bit more into the world. I'll do some chores. That's fine by me. I don't want to trigger that mission, so I'm going to bring it on over here. Hell yeah, yeah. <coughs> Are 
Oh, our tent's right over here. So that explained what the black dots were. That was pretty good. Change clothing, sit, sleep. Is it in my bunk? Oh, right, I did want to shave. <laughs> oh, yeah. Trim. There you go. Looking better. I need a bath. That's what I need. So he said he left me something. To carve a country for man's desire and not some old world juju. Hmm. I have like a bunk or something. The flock is hungry. Wait, what kind of knife? You keep popping in. I see him. I don't need arrows. Oh, throwing knives. That's actually really interesting. That makes sense. Oh. That's what the weapons are. Fire bottles, nice. Fast travel. Okay, so everything kind of ends up around your tent. That's neat. I wish you told me what was left at my tent here. I got a bunch of little things. Hmm. Okay. Hair pomade. Can I use it? Where's the shaving center? Oh, you, you. Oh, it's right over here. Can I pomade my hair? Because <laughs> why not? Need a bath. That's what Morgan hey, needs. Hey, man. I'm Mary Beth. All right, <clears throat> so I want to go do something really quick. Then we can get back on to it. I think uh, we'll probably check with Micah's first and then do Trelawney's. There you go, there's the bath. <laughs> Was that? Zoological. Oh. Neat. I guess. <laughs> All right. Over to Micah. Let's see what kind of shit you got for us. What do you got? Micah. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but... We got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Don't trust it. Comb O'Driscoll. 
Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've gotta take. I killed Combs brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Don't trust it. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Okay. Let's go, I guess. It's definitely a trap. Like, that I can do. But then it's also like, Michael, what the hell are you doing? Talking to him. Let's go then. Come on. You know, I've been fighting Calm for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes. Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that oh, rifle, don't you? Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somewhere on the horse. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den. With you to cover us. Hmm? Okay. Just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend. With you watching over me... I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Uh-huh. I don't believe you, but uh-huh. Hey, up there. Men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Bull. Caring too much. Shit. There's no such thing. Bull. Shit. This is horse shit. From both of you. Literally. Micah might be full of shit. Colm O'Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Man created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? 
I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. Uh-huh. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. All right, let's go. Make sure you're on the highest ground so somebody ain't on higher ground than you. Where are we going? Watch out! <laughs> yeah, I don't like this. There'll definitely be somebody up behind me. What the hell? I'd like to look over there. Dutch. It's been a while. <laughs> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. Huh? I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Oh, shit! Knew it. Knew it. You gotta be on the highest peak or they're gonna get you. Shit. You ain't dead, is you? <laughs> Not getting <laughs> away! <laughs> I don't know. Column's got a sense. <laughs> Handing him over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Column's right, we can draw them all back. True. Where <laughs> Column and Patrick head off to? In a town at the... He's escaping! Shoot him! Relax. Relax. I got him. I got him. Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> uh, no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I've been shot twice. Neat. This is very neat. Finally! Put his weapons over there! Okay, so my weapons are over there. A chair. Ah. Arthur Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> How's Woo? 
hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point cabin. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sword. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you. Hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. All right, so we're in the shit now. Glad that that's just sitting there. <clears throat> come on, momentum. Momentum, Arthur, come on. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. What is going on? Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Shit's getting real. Shit is getting real. Is there anything that I can take off of you? Anything down here at all? Now I got. What's the... he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man. It's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of the beef. Go, 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 go!
fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Come on, come on, come on. I don't like a throw of knives. Oh, I'm gonna be pissed if I don't have my hat. Still Micah's fault. I don't care what anybody says. Pass out. So glad we did this, by the way. Made it. Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> Arthur. Arthur? Arthur. Uh, I told you it was a setup, Dutch. My boy. My dear boy, what? They got me. Uh, I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Man, Scrimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson! He's gonna set the law on us! Oh, of course he was! I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, you're safe now! Oh, let's get him to bed! You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. That's pretty, Tuss. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty! few weeks later. Weeks, y'all. Weeks. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. All right, well, they replaced my stolen weapons, so that probably means that they gave me back mine. Well, that sucked. <laughs> you know what? I just shaved, too. <laughs> oh, but look how nice everything looks now. Snow has melted. We moved a little bit further on. Very nice. Well, I think that was a good episode. What do you guys think yourselves? Uh, yeah, I got nothing else to say. That's going to do it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed what you saw, we do try to get a video out here on the channel every single day. And I really do appreciate your continued support. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.